polarization of light and polaroids. Light emitted by the sun, by a lamp, or by a candle flame vibrate in all directions. Such light waves which vibrate in all directions are called unpolarized light. This unpolarized light can be made to vibrate in a single plane by a process called polarization. This process of transforming unpolarized light into polarized light is known as polarization. The four common methods of polarization are polarization by transmission, polarization by reflection, polarization by refraction, polarization by scattering. Polarization by transmission. The most common method of polarization involves the use of a polarizer. Polarizers are made of a special material which is capable of blocking one of the two planes of vibration of an electromagnetic wave. Tourmaline crystal is a polarizer. Let us understand what polarization is with the help of an example. A picket fence can act as a polarizer by transforming an unpolarized wave in a rope into a wave which vibrates in a single plane. The spaces between the pickets of the fence will allow vibrations which are parallel to the spacing to pass through, while blocking any vibrations which are perpendicular to the spacing. Now arrange two picket fences in such a way that the pickets are both aligned vertical to each other. In this case, only the vertical vibrations pass through both fences. On the other hand, if the pickets of the second fence are aligned horizontally, then the vertical vibrations which pass through the first fence are blocked by the second fence. Displayed here are the schematic representations of the polarization of light by two tourmaline crystals when placed parallel to each other and perpendicular to each other. When the crystals are parallel to each other, we observe that the first crystal polarizes the light and the light comes out through the second crystal. Whereas, when the crystals are perpendicular to each other, we observe that the polarized light coming out of the first crystal is blocked by the second crystal. Polarization by reflection. The simplest method of obtaining plane polarized light is by reflection. In 1808, Malus, a French physicist, discovered that when the ordinary light is reflected from the surface of a transparent medium like water, glass, or non metallic surface, the reflected light is partially polarized, and the degree of polarization varies with the angle of incidence. Polarization by refraction. Polarization can also occur by the refraction of light. Refraction occurs when a beam of light passes from one material into another material. At the surface of the two materials, the path of the beam changes its direction. Iceland spar, a rare form of the mineral calcite, refracts incident light into two different paths. The light is split into two beams upon entering the crystal. Subsequently, if an object is viewed by looking through an Iceland spa crystal, two images will be seen. The two images are the result of the double refraction of light. Both refracted light beams are polarized, one in a direction parallel to the surface and the other in the direction perpendicular to the surface. A polarizing filter can be used to completely block one of the images. Polarization by scattering. When sunlight is incident on the gas molecules in the atmosphere, it gets scattered. 
the scattered light seen in a direction perpendicular to the direction of incidence gets polarized. This phenomenon is called polarization by scattering. Polaroid Polaroid is an artificially made polarizing material in the form of sheets or plates capable of producing strong beams of plain polarized light. They are used in sunglasses to cut off the glare present in the bright beam of light to reduce the intensity of glare during night driving. In windows of trains and aeroplanes for controlling the intensity of light entering from outside.